homecoming's coming up in my school, right? And it's time for a vote for homecoming king and queen. Now, I like this. It's fun. It's a fun idea. I just got out of the shower my hair. Yeah, let's get it. Um, but I just wanted to talk my opinion about it. I like homecoming. I think it's a fantastic idea. I think it's really fun. But it's very bad. Let me explain on that. How do I put this? Um, I don't because I don't want to offend anyone or be mean to anyone. But okay, I'm gonna put it right out there. If you don't play sports and if you don't come from a wealthy family, you're not getting voted for at all. Now, you may be the nicest guy in the school. You may help everyone out. You may get good grades. I do. But I don't play sports. I'm not getting voted for. People may vote for me. My friends may vote for me. I may get 28 votes. 28 votes. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. But this guy played football for three years. He's going he's gonna to get the majority of them. I'm not saying our school's bad. It usually is. I like the teachers and I like how it runs, but it's kind of irritating. Um, basically, if you don't play sports or come from a decently wealthy family, you're not going to win. doesn't matter who you are. Same with the girls. The same on the other side. Usually the girls who win have good grades. They come from a decently wealthy family and they play like tennis and cheerleading and all that kind of stuff. Oh, I'm about to sneeze. Oh, okay. And I don't know what I say to that, to be honest. It's just disappointing. Like, I'm not saying I'm super nice. I'm not being mean. People who The people who play the sports are nice. They're generally nice. They're not mean or anything like that. It's just that... Just because they're winning because they get play sports is irritating. I'm not saying everyone is nice. There's a lot of mean people, but it's just the world, just the way it is. The world will always have mean people. I stand by what I say. Bullying will never go away. That's always been my opinion. It always has, always will be. And if you want to hear more about that, you, you can talk to me. But I can explain why. But, oh my gosh. It's just annoying. I'm not, no. I'm not complaining like, I want to win and everything like that. I mean, I'd like to. The show that all of us, a group of the, our school can come together and um, show that we can all do something together. It's just, it's kind of like, only reason they win, football, cheerleading. No, I like, I like all the sports. I like sports. I like how they, it's good exercise. It's good teamwork. You learn a bunch of things. It's just that they're winning, in my opinion, I think they're winning the elections, not the elections, the the votes, because obviously sports up helps our schools with clout and popularity. That's one of the big reasons they're winning. And I don't play any sports. I play esports a little bit. I like doing that. I don't play sports. I don't really do anything for the school. So that makes my percentage to win about a two. If I help people out and help my school out, I could buff it up easily. I help my school. I help people, but I don't play sports. It's not going to grow that much. Probably the only way I could win is either join a sport or literally have to run around everyone and say, please vote for me and try to give them or try to argue why I should win. I know this is, is going to be annoying to watch because not everyone's opinion is the same. And I'm completely fine with that. I'm. It's fine. I don't know what to say right now. It's just that... Please share this. I... I want someone... I want a normal person to win king and queen. Now, even if you does this year... Even if this video goes everywhere, almost can guarantee you... When the people who walk... When we sit in the gymnasium, people walk up, see who won. Guarantee you, most of the big variety of the boys and girls play sports... Or in a really decent family. And it's just disappointing. Because I know people who doesn't don't have moms or dads. Or they have a terrible family. But they're probably the nicest people I've ever met in my entire life. And I have these people who like come from a great family. They have... They are just... Their life is basically lined up for them. And they're jerks. Why? It's... It's... Here's the, here's the perfect word. It's just disappointing. 
I don't know why. I don't know if a tragedy makes people work harder. Or I don't want to call people spoiled. But anyway, this is my little talk, to be honest. Why our school is disappointing. That's what it is. Homecoming. So. This is, isn't my average video. I don't really do this. Because I keep my opinions to myself most of the time. Because you can't put your opinion out there. Because someone will always clash back because their opinion is either have to be right or you're just wrong. You can't have an opinion anymore, at least. You can't make jokes anymore. Everyone's offended by literally everything. Ugh, it sucks for me. I'm the funny, nice guy who gets everyone put together and everything like that. I bring people together really well. I like talking to the lonely, sad kids kind of know exactly how that feels. I'm not saying, like, my life's so bad and I can c connect everyone. No, my life's amazing. My life is just perfect. My life's really well. But that doesn't mean problems and trouble does not come. Everyone has a problem in their life. Everyone. It doesn't matter who you are or what it is. So that's my talk. Anyway. I want someone average. I want someone okay to win king and queen. Not someone who just plays sports or comes from a good family. <laughs> well. If you consider voting for me, I appreciate it. I'm Seth Sizemore. See you later.